Hey guys, only took a couple of days, but I'm back again because the Bills have made some uh, noise, made some waves across the NFL by hiring former Syracuse head coach Doug Marone, and I know that it has been met with sort of mixed emotions on both sides. He's an offensive guy, what's he going to do about defense? He didn't really succeed as a head coach at Syracuse, which isn't that true, but we'll get into that. There's just, there, there, obviously there's question marks, as there would be with any candidate, and I know that there are other candidates out there that other people wanted to hire. I know I didn't even mention Doug Marone in the previous video, and actually it's funny because he was the one guy I wanted to mention after I finished the video and posted it. I was like, oh crap, I forgot about that Marone guy from Syracuse. Yeah, they probably won't hire him, but they did. So, proven wrong there. But I, I meet the move with, it's just, okay. You picked a guy. He better be the right one. That's really all my only, you know, reaction to it. You picked a guy. You went through an interview process. You interviewed a, a, a whole slew of guys. And this is the guy he came up with. He better be the right one. Because it's not like you just interviewed one guy and hired him. You went through a nice, long, rigorous interview process. And you arrived at this decision. This better be the guy. I know he's gotten pretty good reviews from around the league. John Gruden likes him. Sean Payton likes him. Bill Parcells likes him. Now, I know guys, uh, what are they going to say? Uh, nah, he can't really coach. Guys in your tree that you've worked or you've hired under you, you know, I, I doubt you're going to say anything negative about them, but I, I'm, I'm sincerely hoping that, that they're correct in their, in their votes of confidence, so to say. A lot of people at Syracuse are sort of upset that Marone is gone. And that's interesting because he did turn them around. I mean, I, Syracuse was a joke of a football program thanks to Michael Vick. And if you're a Syracuse fan, you know that. That Michael Vick screwed Syracuse football. How? Real quick, Michael Vick verbally committed to Syracuse, backed out, went to Virginia Tech, and they were, they were in the dumpster ever since. That was in like 1999 after McNabb left. Anyway. He took them to two bowls. They won two bowls, Pinstripe Bowl. They went eight and five a couple of times. I know he was only twenty five and twenty five, but you don't understand how bad that program was and how low that was. So he brought them back to at least, you know, some sort of reputable, you know, notoriety. And he did it mostly on the offensive side. He Blossom, a quarterback in Ryan Nassib, who we'll also talk about briefly, or in a bit. I just think that I, I, I don't have a problem with this. I, I don't know why you wanted Lovey Smith. Okay, well, keep in mind, Lovey Smith hasn't made the playoffs in five out of six years with the Bears. Lovey Smith is a good defensive coach, but then who do you get for the offense? It's my, my only red flag about this Marone hiring is that it's a marketing move and I know that Russ Brandon does things like that because he's a marketing guy. And the reason I say it could be a marketing move is because it's Syracuse. So you get the Syracuse fans who are about three hours away maybe coming out to the games as working as an usher. I had a couple people coming out from Syracuse to the games in my sections and they're some of the best fans to be honest with you. But Maybe you appeal to more people out in Central New York, Finger Lake region to come out to these games, root for the Bills, buy their merchandise and tickets, etc. So that was my only like red flag about that, and I know that that probably seeped into Russ Brandon's mind because that's what he does. And I'm not a marketing guy, but I think that's a smart marketing move. Good ploy. Nevertheless, this guy's been saying all the right things on interviews. I heard him on the John Murphy show. He was actually saying he'd like to get off pretty soon because, or off the air pretty soon because he wanted um, 
who wanted to be available for players and start going through the process of evaluating the roster and everything. I'm just thinking that's awesome because he needs to. He's got to be ready for the draft in three and a half months. Free agencies in two months. He's got to make a decision on Fitzpatrick, evaluate his film. Think about that. So, and now we or now we hired Nathaniel Hackett as his offensive coordinator, who's thirty three years old, I believe. And Marone's forty nine years old. He'll be forty nine at the beginning of next season. So it doesn't bring an old man perspective to it. It's a younger group. Hackett, I mean, people keep talking about the, the K-Gun back in Buffalo with Hackett. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about Nathaniel Hackett, to be perfectly honest with you. I did read some Syracuse bloggers and you know reporters saying that the loss of Hackett might be just as big of a loss as Marone himself, which is encouraging. I, I mean, it's discouraging for Syracuse football, so I'm sorry, but it's encouraging for the Bills. I know these guys don't have a wealth of experience in the pros. Hackett has been with Buffalo before. Marone was an offensive coordinator for the Saints for a couple of years. The Saints, mind you, having Drew Brees helps. But now you're gonna, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. And the more I watch, and obviously this is this is the link. Marone Nassib. Everyone thinks that's gonna happen. Maybe it will. Um, Marone has explicitly said that he likes Ryan. He loves Ryan Nassib. He did exactly everything he wanted him to do in that in that offense at Syracuse. And that I think, I mean, it, it would certainly be, it would not be a surprise if the Bills grabbed him in the second round or traded up to get him. I, I don't know about an eight. I hope not. I think they can just get a, a better player there and then maybe come up, use some ammo. And come up into the late first and grab him. But teams aren't afraid to do that anymore because of the cap, which we talked about. So they have to be careful with that if Nassib's their guy. And some of you like, guys are probably going to say I'm crazy. I don't watch too many of Syracuse's games, but Nassib has a Drew Brees look to me. He's not huge, but he's... He, I don't know what it is. It's just he's just got the... It's just a look. In the pocket, he sort of stands tall, strong delivery, really strong arm. Not accuracy is not fully there like Breeze's is yet, obviously. And maybe that can develop, but he just he just looks like Drew Breeze in the pocket to me. And I know that, like I said, some of you guys are going to call me crazy. And Breeze gets great protection. Nassib can get great protection at times, but I just think that you could draw some comparisons there. Breeze is obviously a franchise quarterback. Is Ryan Nassib going to be a franchise quarterback? I'm not saying that. All I said was he stood in the – I watched the, the pinstripe bowl. And mind you, it was snowing like hell. And I've watched a couple other games. And it's just the way that he carries himself on the field, on the sideline, you know, in the pocket even. Just look like Drew Brees a little, a little bit. If you want to debate that topic, we can, I mean, by all means, let's debate it. I'm not saying they're going to take Ryan Nassib. I'll have a draft video coming up later on, maybe after they decide to cut Fitz or keep Fitz or trade for somebody or sign somebody in free agency. we got a ways to go before that. We could talk about that, but I just wanted to put that out there because obviously it's on people's minds. Now, the Bills just hired today Mike Patin. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, Patin as the team's defensive coordinator, who was just fired by the Jets. And I like that because I, I like it, but I'll tell you why I don't love it um, in a minute. He was The Jets have a, have had a, a phenomenal defense for the past couple of years, and I believe Patin's been there for three or four. But this year, Rex, who is defensive-minded coach in his own right, who probably had a lot of input into the defensive game plan, Rex Ryan stripped the play calling, defensive play calling duties from Patine because he wasn't blitzing enough and he didn't like the way the blitzing was being handled. And that would be an issue to me because that was our issue this year. We didn't blitz at all. So we'll see how they approach that. I, I, I know that some 
Jets bloggers are already saying that you could probably sign Eric Smith and Calvin Pace to the Bills and Mike DeVito possibly to the Bills because of Patine and the way that uh, he coached uh, or the way he coached with the Jets and the, the relationship he had with the players. So I, I would I would probably take Calvin Pace. Sure. DeVito would be nice depth, I guess. It would be a lot like Spencer Johnson was this year. Eric Smith, not a terrible player. Probably wouldn't start. Good special team. Leader. I mean, that remains to be seen. So I just like, I, you know, let's, in conclusion, I like what the Bills have assembled. They have a coach. They picked their guy. They went through a bunch of interviews. They picked their guy. He needs to be the guy. I didn't care who it was, to be quite honest with you. I had a wish list, sure. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who it is, as long as it's the right one. Make this guy be the right one. Please, Russ Brandon, Buddy Nix, give me something to cheer about. You re-energized the fan base a little bit. You, you knew we weren't buying season tickets. You knew it. Because with Chan Gailey and Ryan Fitzpatrick, you knew nobody was coming. So you fire Chan Gailey, Ryan Fitzpatrick, on the edge. Status up in the air. You got this guy from Syracuse. You're, you're talking, you're, he's saying the right things. You're talking great about him. You went through the interview process like you said you would, but this needs to be right. That's just what I, that's the bottom line. This needs to be the right thing. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think of Marone, Patine, Hackett, all that. Hit me up, Twitter, comments, channel, everything, all that. Let's talk about it. We got months to go before free agency season, draft, all that. It's coming up. But anyway, guys. Thanks for coming 12 minutes in this video. As always, go Bills.